before the beginning. Where do I begin telling about Jesus? I suppose it's best to begin where any good story begins, before the beginning. After all, who else could rightly say, before I was, I am? So, you've got to know that the man is older than dirt. Seriously, older. You might say that when God spoke all those worlds into being, what he said was Jesus. Or more accurately, he was talking to himself, saying, you like this universe I'm making? It's all for you. Now, I don't know much about how God works, but this much I can tell. Wherever Jesus went, he spoke truth. Whenever Jesus spoke, folks lit up. Whoever Jesus touched was made alive. He's like having a Coleman lantern in your tent on a foggy night, lighting up the whole place. Jesus grew up as a good Jewish boy. The the rest of us weren't what you'd really call, uh, well, good. He'd spent most of his life in Golly County. Most everybody living around here is Jewish, and we all look and talk and believe the Bible like Jesus does. But some of those Bible believers were the very ones who ended up hating him the most. Jesus was the gentlest man I ever knew, and yet he had a way of getting under some folks' skin right quick. He could make enemies out of religious folk faster than anyone I ever met. But then there were those who followed. Crowds of thousands of people who found a whole new life waiting. It's as if God had become flesh and dwelt among us, as if he had torn open the curtain in the temple, done away once and for all with animal sacrifices, and had come to live right here with us, as if we had seen the shining one and lived to gaze upon the image that would slay any mere mortal." as if we had been welcomed into the inner council of the Holy One Himself. I mean, we Jews had grown up praying the same way every day. We'd stand and face south toward the temple in the holy city, and we would say, Baruch Atah Adonai, Blessed art thou, Lord. We use titles like King of the Universe, Maker of All, Almighty One, the Holy One. We called Him King, we called him Lord, we revered his name to be sure. But when Jesus prayed, he called him Father, his Abba, his Papa, his Daddy, and not just his, our Father. A name like that makes it seem like we're more than just rebels whom God barely tolerates, more even than those who have been welcomed to be his people and to have him as our God. If we call the God of the universe our daddy, it implies that we are his very children, that we are invited to eat, drink, and sleep in the Father's house and to inherit all that he owns, which is everything, in case you're wondering. I'm telling you, that is as profound as it gets right there, boys and girls. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was telling you about how we are truly Jewish. But this here is what you might call genteel country living. But we ain't Gentile, just to make that clear. The hill country of Gali County is about 60 miles up north of Jerusalem. The big city has the crow flies. Now, when a crow goes north from Jerusalem... First, he's going to fly over Samaria County, and them Samartians ain't what we call real Jews. But after you come through there, or go around it if you know what's good for you, up here in the northern hills, we're the real deal. Kosher as a jar of baby deals. That's something I got to make clear to you, or lots of these stories won't make so much sense. See, those big city folks don't give us much respect. Maybe on account of they get us mixed up with some Martians. Maybe on account of what they call our country accents. Either way, folks from the big city tend to call us things. Hillbillies, rednecks, country bumpkins, and even ignorant, no good, cursed, Gentiles. Golly of the Gentiles, they call us. That's why our Council of Tourism and Trade added a slogan to our welcome signs, Golly County, a kosher community. 
They were hoping to turn opinions after many generations of bigotry, which is a fancy word for hating someone in advance before they even did you wrong. Are you ready for the big surprise? Jesus chose to associate himself with our kind. Which is right big him, if you ask me, considering he's God and all. I mean, he could have been a big shot if he'd wanted to. But he needed to be called a Nazarene. Because he was a Nazarene. From Golly County, you know. Anyway, I guess Jesus was saying it doesn't matter where you're from. It matters where you're going. I don't know about you, but as for me, I'm going wherever he does. <laughs>